Your what teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 19th June 2019, we are going to study chemical kinetics. This is a branch of chemistry that deals with the rates of reactions and reaction mechanisms. Rate of reaction. Consider a reaction where a reactant A is converted to a product P. The rate of reaction is given by negative dA dt or by dp dt the rate the rate will be equal to negative dA change in A over change in T or change in P or increase in P over time. The negative sign shows that the concentration of A is decreasing. But the rate of reaction The rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of the reactant. Generally, generally, when a reaction A models of A plus B models of B gives you C models of C plus D models of D, then the rate the rate is expressed by the rate law the rate law or rate equation as rate is equal to k into concentration of A to power X into concentration of B to power Y. Generally, a reaction where A models of A plus B models of B is equal to C models of D. C models of C is equal to C models of C plus D models of D. The rate of reaction is expressed by a rate law or a rate equation. Then the rate law is given as rate is equal to K into the concentration of A moles per decimeter raised to power X into the concentration of B raised to power Y. K is equal to rate constant by definition when a is 1, B is 1, then K is equal to the rate. So you can say is the proportion. Then K can be defined as the proportionality constant in the rate law. X, the square bracket means 
moles per decimeter cubed. Then X is the order of reaction. X is order of reaction with respect to A and Y is the order of reaction with respect to B. Then Y is the order of reaction with respect to B. X plus Y is the overall order of X plus Y is the overall order of reaction. So by definition, order of reaction is the sum The order of reaction is the sum of powers, all exponents to the reactants in the rate row. So the order of reaction will be X plus Y. X plus Y are experimentally determined and they are independent of the stoichiometric values A and B. So X and Y here are independent of A and B. They are experimentally determined and we cannot know what they will be until the reaction has been carried out. They can be determined by carrying out a reaction at varying concentration of A and B, and then we measure the initial rate. Example, the following results were obtained for a reaction between A and B. Find the order of reaction with respect to A and B. When A was, A was 0 0.5 and B was 1 moles per decimeter, the rate was 2.0. When B was 0 0.5, 0 molar, B was 2 molar, the rate was 8. When A was 0 0.50, moles per liter and B was 3 moles per liter, the rate was 18 moles per liter. D, when A was 1 moles per decimeter cubed and B was 3 moles per decimeter cubed, the rate was 36 moles per decimeter cubed per second. Find the order of reaction with respect to A and B. First write the rate row. Rate is equal to K into concentration of A raised to power X into concentration of B raised to power Y. Where X and Y are all of reactions with respect to A and B respectively. If you want to find X, you use two experiments where the concentration of B is constant, where the concentration of A is changing. So we are going to use these two reaction. The concentration of B here is constant, the concentration of A is varying. Then I would say that 36 is equal to K into the concentration of A, which is 1.0 to power X into the concentration of B, which is 3.0 to power 1. Again, 18.0 is equal to K into the concentration of A, which is 0 0.5 to power X into the concentration of Y, 
which is 3.0 to power y. When you divide either side, the y, this one will go, this one will go, this divided by this will get 2, will be the same as 1 to power 0 over 0 0.5 to power x, and this will be equal to 2 to power x. 2 to power x is equal to 2 to power 1, and the number to power 1 is that number. Therefore, x is equal to is equal to 1. If you want to find y, you find the two reactions where the concentration of A is constant, and again you substitute into the same equation. And you say that 8 point zero is equal to k into the concentration of a which is 0 0.5 to power x into the concentration of b which is 2.0 to power y again 2.0 is equal to concentration of a is equal to k is equal to k into concentration of a which is 0 0.5 to power x into the concentration of B, which is 1.0 to power Y. Again, when you divide either side, we find that 4 is equal to, this one will cancel, will be equal to 2 to power Y. 4 can be expressed as 2 to power 2, therefore, therefore Y is equal to, to 2. Or this is the same as y log 2 is equal to 2 log 2. When we cancel out log y is equal to, to 2. Part B find the value of k. When you want to find the value of k, you get an experiment, you substitute it in the rate law, where there were no x and y. Then you can say that 2 is equal to k into 0 0.5 to power 1 into 1 to power, to power 2. Therefore, k is equal to 2 over 0 0.5, which is equal to 4. Then, unit C of k, unit C of k. Uh, our rate law was rate was equal to k into concentration of A to power 1 into concentration of B to power to power 2 therefore K is equal to rate over concentration of A into concentration of B squared the unit of the rate is moles per decimeter cubed per second over moles per decimeter cubed for A into moles per decimeter cubed and this will be the same as this one will cancel out then we shall get per mole squared decimeter to power 6 per second so then solve K becomes moles squared decimeter to power 6 per second. Example 2, for the reaction A plus B is equal to C, the following results were obtained. Concentration of A, moles per decimeter cubed. Concentration of B, moles per decimeter cubed. Initial rate, moles per decimeter cubed per second. Determining the order of reaction with respect to A and B. 
Again, what we do, we write a rate law where it says that rate is equal to k into concentration of a to power x into concentration of b to power y, where x and y are all of reactions respect to a and b, respectively. When you want to determine the value of xc, we look at two experiments where the concentration of B was constant. Then we substitute in the rate law. Then we would say that 0 0.80, the rate is equal to K into 0 0.4 to power X. 0 0.4 to power x into 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 to power y similarly 0 0.20 is equal to k into concentration of a which is 0 0.20 to power x into 0 0.10 0 to power y when you divide either side, then this one will go with this, then you will get 4. Then this one will cancel with this, this one will cancel with that. It will be equal to 2x. 4 can be expressed in terms of 2 to power 2. So you can see that x is equal to, to 2. So the order of reaction with respect to A is 2. Secondly, to get the value of Y, we use two experiments where the concentration of A is a constant. Again, we would say that starting with the second one, we say that is 0 0.80 is equal to K into the concentration of A, which is 0 0.4, 0 0.40 0 to power x into 0 0.20 to power y. Using this third ex second experiment, we say that 0 0.80 is equal to k into concentration of A with 0 0.4 to power x into 0, 0 0.10 0 to power y. When we divide either side, this one will go, this one will go, this one will go, then we get 1. 1 is equal to 2 to power y. But 1 can be expressed in 2 to the power 0. So any number to power 0 is 1. So in this case y is equal to y is equal to zero. So our rate law will be equal to rate is equal to k into concentration of a to power two into concentration of b to power zero. Any number to power zero is one, so it becomes that rate is equal to k into concentration of a to power 2. Then part B, find the rate constant, we get an experiment, we substitute it in the rate row, and then we get the value of k. So when we get this one, we can say that 0 0.80 is equal to k into 0 0.40 to power 2. So K is equal to 5 per mole decimeter cubed per second. Example 3. The rate equation for a certain reaction is given. Rate is equal to K into the concentration of P to the concentration of 2 squared to the concentration of R. State what will happen to the rate of reaction if 
the concentration of P and Q are kept constant, but that of R is doubled. We would say that a new rate, rate new, in this case would be K to the concentration of P to the concentration of Q squared into the concentration of 2R because the R has been doubled. When we compare the new rate with the old rate, rate which was equal to K into P into Q squared into R and we divide either side, we find that this goes with this, this goes with that, this goes with that. So this is the same as 2 into concentration of R over R, concentration over the concentration of R, then this one will go. Then we can say that R and new is equal to 2 R. So the rate, therefore, the rate is doubled. So when we keep P and Q constant and we double the concentration of R, the rate is going to be doubled. To state what will happen, the rate of reaction when the concentration of all species are doubled. We write our new rate as K into the concentration of P doubled into the concentration of double Q squared into double R. This is the same as K times 2 into the concentration of P, then 2 squared will be equal to 4 times 4 into the concentration of Q squared times 2 into the concentration of R. 2 times 4, 8 times 2, 16. This is equal to 16K into the concentration of P to the concentration of Q squared into the concentration of R. Comparing with the initial rate, R would be equal to K into the concentration of P into the concentration of Q squared into the concentration of R. If we divide either side, this one will go, this one will go, this one will go, this one will go. The new rate will be equal to 16 times the old rate. So when all the species are doubled, the rate is multiplied by 16. Feeling the concentration of all the species are halved. We're going to write our new rate as k into a half p into a half Q squared into a half R. This is the same as K into a half concentration of P into a quarter. A half times squared is a quarter into the concentration of Q squared into a half times the concentration of R. This is equal to 1 over 16, 2 a half times a quarter, 1 over 8 times a half is 1 over 16. This will be 1 over 16, concentration of P into concentration of Q squared into concentration of R. This is the new rate. Then when you compare with the old rate, which was equal to K into concentration of P into concentration of Q squared into concentration of R, then you divide the other side. 
this one will go, this one will go, this one will go. Then the new rate will be equal to 1 over 16 times the old rate. Therefore, the new rate, new rate will be 1 over 16 times the old rate. Therefore, when the concentration of all species is halved, the new rate will be 1 over 16 of the already rate.